first humanitarian crisis to hit the region on record. Wreaking havoc for thousands of locals displaced and in desperate need of aid. Struggling with severe flooding. Years, more than 10,000 men, women and children have died trying to cross this stretch of water. Fires, droughts and all kinds of extreme weather are set to intensify as global temperatures rise. The UN is cutting its aid operation because donors have promised only half the funding they gave last year. 2020 was the second warmest year on record, coming within a hundredth of a degree of tying the high set by 2016. Many people imagine there's this untouched wilderness, but the reality is there's really not a lot of wild left out there. We've converted 75% of the land that is not covered by ice. Victims of the worst famine we've seen in a century. That one million animal and plant species face extinction. Faces the world's worst humanitarian crisis. A, a tragedy of globally catastrophic proportions. Battling the worst bushfires in living memory, Australian leaders admit they're in uncharted territory. We can't pretend that this is something we've experienced before, it's not. The extent and spread of the fires, the speed at which they're going, the way in which they're attacking communities who've never ever seen fire before, um, is unprecedented. The United States will withdraw from the Paris Climate Accord. Fear is mounting for the frozen continent. Global ice melt has reached a worst case scenario. A nearly 63% increase from the amount of ice lost annually in the 90s. The Antarctic ice sheets disappearing at a rate never seen before. It is worse than expected. This is happening much faster than we've ever seen before. Today, we are the asteroid that's causing many, many species to go extinct. Wildlife crime is worsening. 55 African elephants are killed for their ivory every day. That's 20,000 a year. What happens next is up to every one of us. In 2014, a United Nations call to Japan to immediately stop hunting whales in the Antarctic region. Please, Maru, this is the Steve Irwin. We strongly advise that you leave these waters immediately. You're in a whale sanctuary. We're going to treat you no differently than illegal poachers. On a warming planet, millions of protesters today demanded immediate action. It's a protest unique not only for its size, but for those leading it. Young activists, many leaving school today to make their point. In cities all across the world today, protesters are taking to the streets in record numbers, demanding their leaders reduce greenhouse gas emissions to address climate change. I don't want you to listen to me. I want you to listen to the scientists. And I want you to unite behind the science. And then I want you to take real action. More than a hundred countries are now going carbon neutral. In Europe, the United States, China, South Korea, Japan, Canada, New Zealand, the UK, it will be 100% clean energy economy. To become the first carbon neutral continent would be carbon neutral. And is set to go carbon neutral. Net zero greenhouse gas emissions. The UK cut carbon emissions further and faster than any other major economy. The world's largest offshore wind farm. The scale has transformed. We're now using much bigger turbines. We're now installing much bigger wind farms. Just one rotation produces enough electricity to power a home for 24 hours. They float in the winter sunshine shimmering islands, silently generating enough power for a small city. The world's biggest solar array. It would send high volume direct current 750 kilometers north to the solar battery. The renewable energy would then flow through undersea cables four and a half thousand kilometers to Singapore. I want to use my skills and training to protect these animals, to protect this land going to be up against armed men. They will kill anybody standing in their way. We started this with 16 women. 240 more women will become rangers in the next 12 months. We will not let you get away with this. Right here, right now, is where we draw the line. The world is waking up. 
and change is coming whether you like it or not.